Hey everybody, Dave here. I hope you're having an awesome day. I am packing up all my Christmas ornaments, put my tree away, getting everything put um, in storage for the year. And I found this little guy on clearance at the Disney store. It was uh, an additional 20% off of the clearance, so I got it for like $6.38. A little Grogu in his pod. The thing is, I hate the color. Ugh, it's so ugly. So I think what I'm going to do is paint this out to look like it should look and in full color. So come on, let's do it. All right, so here it is. I'm always on the hunt for Christmas ornaments on sale and just couldn't pass this one up because the sculpt is so nice. It is really really detailed so i think if i repaint this thing i think my first thing would be to prime it and then i'm gonna paint it according to what it would look like in the show and paint grogu green with his tan coat i believe this blanket is kind of like a dark brown a little gray and there's some orange hits on there so first things first let's go prime it whoops before we prime it let's clean it there was some kind of wash that they put on this thing, so I'm just going to get this all cleaned off and then I can prime it. Okay, now it's ready to prime. I'm just using a Rust-Oleum flat white with primer. This works fine for me, so getting that done. Put a couple coats on it, and then I'm mixing up a darker brown for the blanket. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing some colors and you can see I now mixed up another brown that's a little bit more red in it. And then I had this kind of sand stone paint already from Citadel. It looks a little intense, but I'll do a wash at the end. Then just putting some uh, of the little orange reflector paint on there. This is literally just an orange with a little bit of yellow and I kind of just mixed up my own color. Again, just kind of eyeballing it. I don't think you can see it in this video, but I did paint the inside. Oh, you might be able to see it there. I painted the inside. Now, the mold actually had a couple little air pockets on the lip, the nose, and the eye. So I want to try and fix that. What I'm going to use is this Tamiya putty. It's a model putty. And I'm using a razor blade here, and I'm just kind of dabbing in that little pocket where the air, uh, air hole was. There was a little thing on the nose. So I'm just putting a little glob on there. It's a little messy now, but I'll clean it up with the razor blade. And I did use some fine grit sandpaper to clean that up. So that's looking pretty good. Now it's time to get paint in the head. I'm used to using this aquamarine and this spring green paint. And again, I'm just kind of mixing it up, um, eyeballing it. I did add a little bit of white and started brushing it on. And I think it's looking pretty good. I did adjust it a couple times and go back and forth but I'm kind of liking this he's a lot more teal than green like the traditional Yoda so just kind of working through that now the eyeballs this kind of is really fun to me I love super detailed work so uh, unfortunately my camera was out of focus when I did the other eye and I did the really fine detail work around the edges but um, all in all it turned out pretty nice for super small work and then in order to put the highlights on um, I'm just going to use the tip of a razor blade and I dipped it in white and then you just touch it on there and then I'll do it again here but because I've already dipped on the first one I didn't quite have enough paint so I just flipped my blade over and now I got a nice some nice highlights and now I'm just doing a wash you know me I love my Citadel Nuln oil. This is actually uh, the Nuln oil is black. This Citadel wash is a brown wash, so um, worked pretty nice. And then I just dabbed it all off because the pot isn't a pure white, but it's not really gray, so I think it's more just grimy. So that worked out pretty nice. And then I'm putting the metallic highlights. So I'm using this Tamiya silver metallic and just really dragging the brush on the edges of these ridges and it works really great and then actually get yourself an old crusty brush and, and you can brush out most of the paint and do what's called dry brushing and that looks really nice i think it turned out pretty cool then let's see 
Oh, so I got done and I forgot to paint the pink in the ears and I tried hand brushing it, it wasn't working, so I thought I'll have to break out my airbrush. I don't love the airbrush because it's so much work and I'm not really good at it. You have to clean this thing and you can see it's just, I'm not doing a great job. And I thought, oh, I'll put a little rosy on the cheeks. So uh, the right cheek worked out pretty great. Watch the left cheek. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So I went back in, I mixed up some more paint, and I kind of just dabbed it and brushed it all on. And after, you know, a couple minutes of massaging it and <laughs> repainting it multiple times, it turned out okay. So um, all in all, pretty cool paint job. Okay, Grogu is done, and I think he looks pretty great. I actually have a Hallmark ornament that is the child in the pod, and I kind of like mine just as much, or maybe a little bit better, but... A funny story, I was kind of done with them, and I was carrying them through the house, and my daughter looked at it, and she's like, hey, Dad, um, can I give you some criticism? I was like, oh, no, what? She's like, the head is way too green. And I knew it, but <laughs> I was trying to let it go, so I went ahead and repainted the head. I didn't show you. All I did was I did the same green and teal mixture and added a little bit more white, and I just repainted it, and it worked out pretty nice. So... Let's take a look at the before. I'll do a 360 turnaround of the before and then a 360 turnaround of the after. Turn out pretty cool. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and you'll get to see when new videos pop up. And as always, it is a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a good one.